prize more. The resources that the China National Space Administration command are both impressive and mysterious. See, while most other nations of the world have been taking a collaborative approach to space exploration, China has been off doing their own thing and going it alone. And that's not exactly their fault. The U.S. basically told them that they're not allowed to sit with the cool kids at the space table. So today, we're taking a look at what China has been up to with their space program, what they're working on right now, and where they are going in the future. This is the space race. The Chinese space program dates back farther than you might think. I know I was surprised to learn that China started developing aerospace technology in the late 1950s alongside the United States and Soviet Union. China was a kind of unsung contender in the original space race. Chairman Mao was not a man to take things lightly, no surprise there really. So when President Dwight Eisenhower threatened China with nuclear weapons in 1953, Mao responded by starting his own nuclear program. When he saw Russia fire their first Sputnik satellite into space in 1957, Mao decided to launch his own space program as well. It's widely believed that China didn't enter the space race initially for superiority or victory in the way that US and the Soviets did. China was in a kind of self-defense mechanism to make sure they weren't outgunned or left behind. The Chinese actually had some very decent success in the late 50s and early 1960s by essentially reverse engineering Soviet rockets and making their own copies. By 1964, China was able to launch a crew of mice into orbit. When the conquest of the moon became the hot topic in the late 1960s, Mao again decided that China should do it. By 1969, China had developed a heavy lift satellite launch vehicle that they had derived from an intercontinental ballistic.